And now, your first alert weather. Well, lots of haze outside right now across Salmon and Central Idaho at this hour. It seems like we've been always under an air quality alert there for the past couple of weeks. And we are currently under one for Central Idaho and for the lower Snake River Plain and Magic Valley areas until 3 p.m. this afternoon before we start getting changes into the forecast that could start to actually knock out a good amount of haze. But that's again after today. Right now in Salmon, 44 degrees. Do have a slight breeze working out of the south at 5 miles per hour. I've looked at a vibrator and do see we're pretty dry out, which has allowed most of, most of the haze to pretty much accumulate right next to the some of those fires, especially near Salmon with the Moose Fire, Ross Fork Fire, also uh, near Sun Valley, too. And those are really going to get a lot of haze, not only into central Idaho, but also into the Snake River Plain and Magic Valley areas, which is why we do have that air quality alert in effect there until this afternoon. High pressure system in place has been keeping us dry over the past couple of days, uh, giving us nice sunny conditions and calm winds in the process. But you do see the moisture on the horizon from the west. This high pressure system is going to start to move into tomorrow. Look at the picture for tomorrow. The ridge moves slightly out farther east. The low pressure center from the Pacific Ocean comes on shore. That's going to give us rain showers. It's going to be wrapped around by the low pressure system that are going to give us plenty of moisture to really get a good amount of rainfall in for Tuesday and into the rest of the week. Let's look at the timing here on the Vipercast and see what you can expect. We might even have rain showers as soon as late tonight. We might have seen a model or two that's been pointing to maybe a stray shower out towards Sun Valley, Stanley, and the lower Magic Valley areas late Monday. Overall, though, the rest of today is going to be pretty dry. It's going to be tomorrow that'll start uh, getting in the rain showers into the region. Good amount of rain showers and thunderstorms expected for central Idaho, Magic Valley, and into western Wyoming. And the rest of the region is going to get a good amount of rain showers throughout the rest of the day on Tuesday. And we'll continue with more rain into Wednesday and Thursday too. So here's the rainfall that we're expecting at least from the start of this system moving through. Seeing good rain totals across central Idaho, areas that could get up to maybe even a half an inch, maybe even an inch locally out towards Ketchum and Sun Valley. Keep in mind you again, this is only until 4 p.m. on Tuesday. We still have lots of rain to get through for the rest of the work week continuing into Wednesday, Thursday, and even Friday and possibly next weekend. 87 in Preston, 83 in Lava Hot Springs for today, 82 in Driggs, 77 in Old Faithful, 80 in Jackson. It's 81 in Salmon, 82 in Arco this afternoon, 80 in Ketchum. And lastly, the Snake River Blank. Get those highs up to the mid to upper 80s, maybe even 90 degrees today in Pocatello. If you enjoy hot conditions, well, today's a day to enjoy them and maybe even get outside and get some yard work done before the rain comes tomorrow and the cooler weather comes tomorrow, too. 75 degrees on Tuesday for Blackfoot with 60% chance of rain, showers, and thunderstorms. In Rexburg, 88 degrees today with hazy skies and sunny conditions. We're down to 77 tomorrow on Tuesday with some rain showers. And then we're down even further to 70 by Thursday. In Salmon, 81 degrees. We're down to 77 for Tuesday before dropping to 71 on Thursday. We'll have some scattered rain chances on Thursday after isolated rain showers on Tuesday and Wednesday. In Jackson, 82 degrees. Hazy for today. 69 is our high on Wednesday. We'll keep the highs in the upper 60s and lower 70s heading into next weekend. In Pocatello, 90 degrees, down to 77 for Tuesday before dropping to 72 on Thursday. Good chances for isolated and scattered thunderstorms over the next three days after today. Idaho Falls, again, today is the last dry day outside, so if you need to get something done outside, today is the day to do it. 86 degrees. We'll have those hazy conditions in, unfortunately, especially uh, given to us by the air quality alert that's in effect until 3 p.m. this afternoon. Then comes lots of rain showers that could get up our rainfall accumulation to an inch, maybe even two inches of rain by the end of the week. Let's send it back over to Dylan and Emma.